diesel truck. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So, hope everybody's having a good week so far. Um, start things off, I want to thank my brother Bob, who you guys have met, and his girlfriend Alexa. Um, I'm shooting this on my brand new GoPro Hero 6 that they got me, so hopefully the video quality is better. I know people complain about the audio quality sometimes, but I think it shouldn't be any different than the Hero 5 I normally shoot on. So big shout out to them. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, this should have a little bit higher frame rate. So when we do some, try and do some slow motion stuff, maybe we can get a little more cinematic. That's the hope. Shout out to them. Thank you. I appreciate it. So guys, tonight we're getting back to the truck. We're going to be moving to the back here. We're going to hopefully get some things done um, in regards to some things you guys may have had some concerns with. And that involves this steel right here and that welder right there. So as you can see, I have two pieces of square tube, one which I have made some cutouts for. This is for our fuel cell mount. And these two pieces of tube here are for our cross members. They're gonna go in here. I'm thinking this one's gonna go somewhere like this. It's just rough cut right now. I'll trim it down, get rid of the muffler so we have access. And then the other one is gonna be in replacing this cross member right here. So we'll be getting rid of that as well. Now for the welder setup, I picked up this 120 Miller unit. I do have a 240 stick welder that can be used for TIG as well up in my shed but I don't have 240 access down here. So I picked up this 120 unit. Um, we use an older style Lincoln 120 at work and it's great. Um, so hopefully the Miller's just as good. It's a bit pricey of a setup, but anything I've read or seen, it's quality. Um, and the one I picked up actually comes with the plug here you can change out so you can run it on 240 to run your higher amperages but also it has the gas directly fed to the, the torch here, and it comes with the torch and all that. The ground is of uh, high quality, that's for sure. But it also comes with some other cup sizes for the TIG torch. It also has, um, I think, 16th to go with the 332nd um, elect or not electrode, tungsten holder that's in it. And I actually have to look through it to see what the tungsten's in it. Hopefully it is what we need. Hopefully it's 2% thoriated. But it also does come with a whip, so if we wanted to stick weld. But it comes in a nice carrying case, everything you need. Like I said, 240 plug. Definitely a nice option if you're just, you need everything to get started out. I have our bottles all hooked up here. We have 100% pure argon, so we're good to go there. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work because it is a, um, uh, Christ. It is a scratch start setup, so I don't know how that's going to work with the gas. I'm a bit concerned, but I've never, because I've never used something like that. Usually at work, I'll use just high frequency start. So that way I don't even have to touch the piece before I start. So anyway, we're going to get started with that. First things first, we're going to have to get rid of the muffler clean up here on the frame i'm thinking for this cross member here i want to just put it right in the center here but it'll be close to that shock mount kind of where the original one is just much lighter and then we will get rid of that one kind of do the same i want to go you know halfway on the frame and then we'll get the mountain our fuel cell hopefully uh kind of excited to see this stuff coming together now that we have a welder for here in the garage rather than up in the shed which is kind of a pain in the ass especially well when you got something on jack stands and no transmission in it, bit of a pain in the ass to try and get something up there. So enough jibber jabbing, let's get to work.
I got the bar all fitted up. Uh, really, I didn't level it because I never leveled the frame or anything. What I did was I just measured down with a square from from the top of the frame on either side. And, you know, got got the bar where I wanted it, and then I went an inch over from this hole from the previous cross member just to make everything even. So it's in there. As you can see, it's solid. Got a couple nice big tacks on there. So might as well finish burning this thing in and be done with this cross member. I'd say that's sufficient. That'll work. All right, so I got those burned in. Um, definitely a little getting used to with this 120 machine. Had to like, at least set it up a little hotter than I normally run it. Um, but that's probably just because of what it is. Uh, the thing is amazing. It's completely silent until you start welding and the gas comes right in it. As soon as you touch that tungsten, it's there. I mean, that, that was something that was kind of worrying me but that was that's awesome but uh yeah so we're all welded in here um everything's good solid so i think now i'm gonna move the back i'm gonna cut that cross member out i have the hitch on so that way i can slide the hitch off when we're done see if it tried to spring any i don't expect it to but that's one reason i wanted to get this in before i cut that cross member out but we'll get rid of that cross member see if the hitch still slides on and off and get to mocking up our fuel cell um, because I think it's probably better to weld that in before we get to that little cross member we're gonna do back there. Got everything cut out, everything's ground smooth, all the bracketry is off of that cross member. And the hitch slides on and off fairly well, so I'd have to say nothing got twisted. Not twisted, but I don't think anything widened up. Yeah. Yeah, that's still plenty sturdy. That's for damn sure. That's going to be it for tonight. I was going to try and mock up the fuel cell with the brackets that I had made. But as you can see by this ridiculously big um, C-clamp, that's the only one that I had that would fit. Everything else I have is just a six inch C-clamp, so it won't even go in the frame. So I can't mock all that up. I mean, kind of what I was thinking is fuel cell right here. Eventually put the battery over here and put the air dog over here somewhere. Um, but I'd like to mock everything up and have everything in place before we weld anything in permanent. But, uh, yeah, I didn't even think about, you know, having C-clamps or anything. I figured my six inches would work, but I was wrong. Also, I pulled the air dog permanently off the frame here. It won't be going back on there. Um, I just wanted to mess with the bracketry a little bit. And a uh, little note to anybody from air dog, if you happen to see this, uh, maybe you guys should think about like stainless hardware or something. Um, that shit saw one low mile winter. I mean, this thing was only out in the winter time a few times, salty roads a couple of times. Yeah, they might not have gotten washed off right away, but. Uh, shit's getting a little grimy. All, everything's all rusted up already. 
So just something for you guys to think about. Um, anyway, we did manage to get this cross member in. I'm very happy with it. As far as the exhaust, I don't know if it's going to go back on or not. I had said previously I'd like to put it on to make sure, you know, not make sure, but just kind of justify that my uh, selectable hood stack did work when we got another valve in there. So I would still like to do that, but with all this stuff going on back here, I don't know that that's going to happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, our little Miller weld machine is certainly going to come in handy with this project and other stuff here in the garage. I just got to figure out a better way to have it kind of mount it to the bottle cart or something just because I got cords and shit going all over the place. Just a pain in the ass. I really need to come up with a better setup for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll check you on the next one. Get out of your garage. Get the wrench on your truck.